Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day, Dr. Gwen Nichols. Hello, how are you? I'm very, very well. Welcome, Courtney. Hi, thank you. Thank you for joining us. I want my audience to know that Dr. Gwen Nichols, she's the Chief Medical Officer of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. I want you guys to really pay attention because this is really important information. Dr. Nichols, thank you for your time. And before I get started uh, talking a little bit with Courtney, tell me what LLS is. So LLS stands for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And though our name says Leukemia and Lymphoma, we actually are an a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping all patients with blood cancers. That includes leukemia, lymphoma, myeloma, and about a dozen other uh, types of cancer that involve the blood and the bone marrow. Why are you expanding to include those, and why is it important? Well, it's, it's really important because we have just amazing progress in the blood cancer space. There are so many new therapies, uh, but both doctors and patients need to know about them to be able to access them. So we have uh, just a load of wonderful free resources available. And, and we are expanding not only to other diseases, but to really double down on our efforts in pediatrics. And I guess I should add the pediatrics, kids are not just little adults, and so we can't just hope that all the work that we've done in the adult cancers will trickle down to kids. We need to be sure we're researching and we're developing new, less toxic therapies for our kids. Thank you for that explanation. I'm going to ask Courtney. Courtney, they told me you're the mother of a pediatric cancer survivor. Your child, what was your child's journey like? Yeah, so um, I have a son, Caden, who was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia at the age of three in March of 2020. And shortly after we found out his diagnosis, we found out that he had a very rare form of leukemia that only happens in about 3% of cases. So he went from a standard form of treatment to a higher risk of treatment that included more intense and harsh chemotherapies. And so it was quite the journey. We had several surgeries, overnight hospital stays, and a lot of chemotherapy drugs that led to a lot of very scary side effects, um, including some side effects that he's still dealing with today, even though he has completed his treatment journey. Um, The LLS, they helped you through this family experience, and how do you support them or believe in them now? Yes, so I actually found out about LLS shortly after Caden's diagnosis. I got involved with one of their um, fundraising um, opportunities, and through that I learned more about some of the other resources that they had. Um, As you can imagine, finding this out, our family was devastated. Um, I felt helpless. I felt like, you know, I wish that I could take this away, but I couldn't. And so one of the things that I could do um, was educate myself, and LLS has a ton of wonderful resources educational resources that I was able to utilize to make sure that I can go into those doctor's appointments for Caden and I could really advocate for him to make sure that he was getting the treatment and the care that he deserved. So I am a firm believer in LLS and all of the things that they're doing. I mean, I really appreciated all the support that they provided emotionally as well as the resources to help educate me so that I could be the best advocate for my son. Courtney, thanks for sharing a bit of your son's journey, and I'm glad that he is on a better path today. Dr. Nichols, is this story par for the course, or is it unique that Courtney shared? So I'm sorry to say that this is par for the course. We have made a lot of progress, 
but that progress has come with being able to help kids survive through really tough, tough therapies. And what we really need to do is start using less one-size-fits-all chemotherapies and understand the biology better so that we can help develop new, less toxic therapies for kids uh, so that they, that Caden will be a healthy adult and not have those kind of side effects. As I wrap up, tell me a little bit about the Dare to Dream project. So Dare to Dream is our effort to really double down on everything you need to get new, less toxic therapies for kids. That includes pediatric specific research, not just research trickling down from adults. It includes education and support programs and enhanced financial support for pediatric patients and families. And most importantly, our cornerstone is a global collaborative clinical trial for hard to treat leukemias. And this is really going to change the paradigm so that we put kids in the center of the drug development process, not the drugs in the center and the kids at the outside. Uh, we're really excited to make this, uh, make this a reality. And we have some wonderful pediatricians from all over the world participating in this clinical trial effort called PEDAL. As my audience listens to this, I'm sure this really impacts some of them. Where can they get more information on this? Oh, well, I hope your audience will, will please feel free to take advantage of our free resources. And whether it affects you or someone you know, please tell them to go to lls.org. And for those who would like to, you know, who are in the kind of crisis that Courtney's family went through, they should come and speak with our Information Resource Center. Speak to a human being to get what you need. All of it is free. The number is 1-800-955-4572. We're here to help. Dr. Nichols, I really thank you for taking the time. And Courtney, I really, really wish you the best on your journey with your child. Thanks for being my guest on the Valder Beebe Show. Thanks thank for having us. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television, and this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.